Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In the next episode, we are going to discuss about how to read data of a single record from MongoDB using Capm. In this series of videos, we have learned by far how to set up your free MongoDB database in Mongo Cloud, database as a service, set up your Capm project, implement a insert and get all. We've also seen how to develop your code using VS Code. And now in this episode, we will see getting single record data by key. I will discuss a unique challenge which we face when we are right now using MongoDB and how do we overcome with a workaround. So let's start over. So first let's discuss the challenge of getting single record from MongoDB. So for that, I will take you back to the Mongo database where we have the data stored. So if you see, this is where our data is stored in our customer collection in MongoDB. And what Mongo does is it automatically creates an ID assignment. Every record will have a unique ID, which is prefixed with an object ID as this. However, the ID property, which we are using currently in our database table, is a UUID generated by Capm framework, which is also stored here. So according to Capm, this is the key. But according to the database, this is the key. So there is a mismatch between both the keys. So we have to go back and kind of try to map the Mongo key and take this as a priority over the keys. And then later on, while reading the data, we should also read this based on this key. So let us go ahead and see how to achieve that. The first thing I need to do is go back and change my database table design a little. I will switch over back and get rid of this key, which is generated by system and just add manually a key ID called a string type. You can add a 32 character or let's keep it a free size. And this is the first change I do to my database table. The next change which I need to do is when we are getting all the records from the database, we will map this underscore ID coming from Mongo to this particular ID which is defined in our model. So I will switch over back here and now I will do the required mapping in step number two. So for that, I will just use an extra bit of code just before I return the data out where we are going to loop over the data. Perhaps this is not a very good solution, but as of now with this workaround, we will be able to read the keys from the Mongo database. So we are reading the key for which is prefixed with underscore ID and we're mapping it to our ID in return of the data. And then when a record access or record request comes for reading single record, we are going to get that request with a select one query wherein user will pass the key to us. So we will handle that over here. Let me add the logic. So we have some extra characters while copying in VS Code. And now what we are doing here, we are checking if the request query has come for selecting one record. If yes, then we take out the ID of that record. Of course, the ID will belong to the ID of the database because we have done the mapping correctly. And then we are going to receive the Mongo ID. When the ID comes back to us, we will reconstruct the object ID with a filter condition called underscore ID. And this filter we are going to inject now into the data. So I will take the filter now and I'm going to pass that in our find option. You can see we are injecting the filter now and this filter will be respected to return one single record out. So that is the way we solve the challenge of ID mapping uh, currently manually. Of course, in the future when SAP supports perhaps using the Capm database, a direct support for Mongo, this is going to be out of the box for us and we don't have to write extra boilerplate code. But for time being, it's good to go with this technique, which I found as a workaround. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of this workaround, but somehow we have to do that mapping by ourselves to get used to the Mongo. Okay, now let's go ahead and run our application one more time with updated code. And we are going to experience the get now. So last time we were getting this automatically generated long ID. But now this ID is going to be more of an ID which maps to the ID of MongoDB for the project. So let's run. And now you can see we've got the short ID. 
which means even I copy this and go to my robo 3d to do a find by ID as object ID and my value of object ID inside and just do a search with f5 I can get my exact record based on the primary key cool so this is proved and now it's time that we read a single record so we hit the call and there you go I'm able to read now a specific customer a particular customer with the help of the same fantastic so that's the implementation and solution of our problem I hope you're enjoying this entire series on MongoDB please like share subscribe this channel for more interesting videos like this and I will see you in my next episode thank you and goodbye